Uh, popping crypto. Special guest, nothing less than the best. Lil Alexander, Silo. Let's go. Every once in a blue, the game changes and take you to different places in the cloud. Operations, a system with different phases. Innovations will amaze us and save us. I flew to Vegas in the digital desert, but Silo was the oasis. And it's cliche to say this, but maybe we in the matrix. Cause he covered all the bases from payments to regulations. I know Windows gonna hate this. I'm waiting to see they faces. The reveal at CES, he the best. And it's outrageous. Mac OS can't hang with this, but I can do my thing with this. Voice activated by the 150 languages. Languages. He can talk about it, but he'd rather show you Man, this do everything, what the hell it don't do? Got domains, blockchains, metaverse, in the cloud Build a site in 60 seconds, plug and play it from the ground This hard, where to? He's coming for the crown I'm talking Leo Alexander, why he don't play around Our Algorithms automatically are automated with it SEO, we gonna get it from the Google Analytics NFT your ID, later on I'll show you how I'm cash is Kuwait, that's all I gotta say for now, yeah Silo Cloud Silo Cloud 2023 Silo Cloud Poppin' Crypto Silo Cloud Silo See you at CES What's poppin'? It's your boy Cassius Cuve here at CES with the legendary Dr. Lael Alexander. How you doing? Awesome, bro. Awesome. Good to have you at the booth, bro. I appreciate it. So <laughs> he is the founder and CEO of Nordavani. Innovation spelled backwards. Innovation spelled backwards. Innovation for everybody, right? For everyone. For everyone. Now, normally you guys know I'm popping crypto. I'm usually doing it via satellite, but what a pleasure to be here in person at CES. He is the chief architect of Silo Cloud, which is a new product that you guys have coming yes, out. Yes. In a nutshell, can you tell us about it? Well, Silo Cloud is a five year development. We've just come out of beta testing. And Silo Cloud is actually built for influencers, literally, you know? Finally, you can go ahead and take all of your data, all of the things that you do, all of your value, put it all in your secure cloud, and then offer it to the world. Monetize it on your own terms, you know? Not dealing with other people's blockchains or other people's NFT marketplaces. Silo Cloud allows you to build your own ecosystem on the Web3 platform. And that's pretty impressive because, you know, it sticks with the ethos of a lot of folks who believe in decentralization and Web3 because Absolutely. Silo, you basically get your own dedicated server, right? Yeah. That's kind of the point of all of this, the crux of it. That's it. That's it. I mean, it's, t it's far time uh, to it's far beyond time for people to realize the importance of taking control of their own data, getting out of these public clouds, the iClouds, Android clouds all those other public spaces that where people act, are actually manipulating your data and then targeting you at the same time, right? If you can take control of your own dedicated server, now you can host whatever you want to host from your websites to your e-commerce to launching your music platforms or your e even your TV channels. And just to drive the point home, because not everybody's you know very tech savvy who maybe watch this though, yeah. your own dedicated server, that's the key again to all of this. It's, it's everything, listen. Uh, for, for those of you out there that, that don't, don't understand what we're talking about when we say server, think about that. Think about a picture that you've seen in a room with lines of computers, right? Rows of computers. That's a big data center. And inside of those data centers are blade servers that are actually doing tremendous amount of computing for enterprise companies all across the world. So Amazon has their set. Azure has their set. Uh, companies like um, and that's Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, Azure, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. As, yeah. <laughs> now, but all those companies they've prepared all of this infrastructure so that you can actually have some of these services that's created from platforms. So you hear the term platform as a service, right? Or cloud as a service, uh, SaaS, software as a service. All of those things are actually emulating from those big data centers. Right. So what if I gave you the same power of those data centers in your home? That's what he's talking about. Enterprise it's you, right? So it's not just enterprise infrastructure anymore. It's not just big server infrastructure for the big companies. It's big server infrastructure for the big new you, right? And th that's why this is so important. And just, we're gonna touch on it in a second. We're gonna come back to that, but I made a song, which normally as I always do for 
for Poppin' Crypto. I, I performed the song. In this case, we have the special occasion of being able to film a music video. So you guys who just watched the music video, uh, he hasn't seen the music video yet, but he's Can't heard the song. Tell, how did you, what did you think of the song? Loved it, bro. Uh, I, think it, I think it fit with our urban culture. It, it was very descriptive because it told everyone what they what they needed to know about crypto and how to how to you know what silo is all about in that entire ecosystem in that entire space so i think the vibe was hot you have i mean everybody knows he's the he's the king of the mic anyway man i'm just privileged to have you do a song uh, on our behalf that's all well you know let's go into a little bit about your personal background i appreciate all your kind words i'm glad you like the song i thought it was dope too and i can't wait for the music video to come out but Leo Alexander's been in the space for a long time. When I say the space, I mean technology. And he's invented some products that you guys are already use and maybe don't even know about it. Can you list some of those things? Well, have you ever shared the screen of your phone to a TV? That's called Miracast or screen sharing. I invented that technology uh, back in 2008. Um, all of the Sony Xperia series, um, our, our companies, we're building phones for a lot of non-branded companies at the time that was trying to enter the mobile space. So if you've ever touched a phone or a TV, a flat screen TV, 3D printing technologies, this company, Nordivani, has been actually created to enable some of the ideas that makers have. They have ideas, but they don't have capacity. So I developed a, a manufacturing approach that allows innovators to come to Neudivani Services, we're a design house, ODM. We would inter internalize those designs, engineer it, and then take it over to our OEM, original equipment manufacturer, build and manufacture your product, and then assist you with the supply chain to go ahead and get it in the market. So we have four factories in China, two large software development firms in India, and we just moved one of our factories to Tulsa, Oklahoma, the center of Black Wall Street, 150,000 square foot where you can do just about anything. Mold products, cut steel, uh, program. I mean, listen, it's, uh, it's, it's a dream house for the makers. Uh, they call it the Oz, man, and I the guess Oz. I'm the wizard. <laughs> and we've got the Wizard of Oz right here. Like I said in my song, I'm talking Lil Alexander, Why you don't play around. <laughs> So, and that's what I want to drive home too. There's hardware to, I say that in the song, there's hardware to, he's coming for the crown. So, yeah, no, no, no. It, they no. really make, they make things, not just software. No, no, it, it, it's kind of interesting because uh, a lot of you guys are either an iPhone user or an Android user, right? And those, those two complexes uh, come with hardware and software. Well, Silo Cloud is an operating system as well. It's an operating system that doesn't require anybody's hardware because you can use Silo Cloud on any device. But just to go ahead and complement our battle mode, because this is really boots on the ground, I'm calling out the smoke of all of the, the bigs. Right here, so, right here at CES, he's literally. calling them out every day. I you see them speak. It. You yeah, saw I got, it. We're you going to show footage of that. We're too. bringing the phone, we're bringing the tablet, we're bringing the dedicated server, we have the best TVs. All of those things run on our the operating system that we developed, Silo Cloud, Silo OS. We even got the vehicle over here. Please, you gotta tell us about that because everybody's gonna ask me about it. They've seen it in all the videos. So the the, the Jaeger series of our company, Jaeger is uh, in our, our autonomous division. Uh, we have our electric car uh, on the show floor, but in 45 days, we're gonna be introducing to the market our SUV and our four-door sedan. And what makes our cars uh, pretty amazing in my, uh, from my point of view, is the fact that we actually took the time to care about the air air quality in the cabin of the car, not just how fast you can go from zero to sixty in under a minute or what have you. Right? We also we also looked at the the way individuals will actually interact with that vehicle because none of us have the time if we, if you have to get somewhere to charge a car for six hours. So our hotspot capability of those battery cells, our fuel cells, allows a mom, a dad, even a child that uh, is probably above 12 years old to be able to change out our fuel cells uh, that are less than 85 pounds and extend the life or the performance of the vehicle. So right now we're rated at a, a 
a little shy of 400 miles per full charge, but a hot swap battery allows you to go ahead and get an extended vehicle range of about 127 miles. So uh, you can actually have one stored in the car. It's almost like- have a backup in the car. Yeah, that's now, it. I know this is a busy man. Everybody's trying to talk to him all day long. Got Teddy Riley and on that list of who's who's over here yesterday. So I appreciate the time for the interview. I won't keep you much longer, no, man, but he, he, you always have a saying, talk about, you say like made in America, China, born what's- Born in China. Say, say it again. Oh, I'm not, born in, China, born in America, made in China. And, and and it's the truth. Right, because you've been, you've been manufacturing things for a long time over yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, I'm a 14 year veteran. Uh, in CES, I'm the only, OEM, the only manufacturer that's of African descent that performs at CES every year, year in, year out. And our innovation is at a level that it's not a replica of something else that you see. When you look around our exhibit, it's a 50 by 50. We're the anchor tenant of North Hall. There's no one that represents technology in the way that we do. And they all know it. The world knows it, right? And we've been doing it like that for the past 12 years. A lot of these other companies, they they mimic uh, what they feel the leader is, right? And when you look at companies like a Samsung or an Apple, all the other companies, I'm talking about hundreds of them around the world, want to build a mousetrap that looks a lot like Samsung or Apple. Nordivani hasn't taken that approach at all, right? We've, we've taken the approach of saying, hey, listen, the rest of the industry technologists are building for machines which means they've totally left out the human content. So when you look around in our booth, we're doing things that's almost anti-equipment, anti-artificial intelligence, because we're building for humans. You know what I mean? We're building the air quality, the sanitation, we're building uh, the anti-drone, we're building the protectionism uh, around our cloud and our security for your data. We're, we're giving you the tools to go ahead and protect yourself. We're building you the, the health complex. I mean, we have it's it. Ease of we have, use I mean, ease of use is everything good. about it, everything about it is protectionism for mankind, right? Where everyone else is kind of be, they're a bit deplorable about your existence because they don't really care about you. They're caring, they're looking at the dollar signs that's stacking up for what consumers actually intake. What they can get out of you. Yeah, seriously, mm -hmm. seriously. And I'm trying to give back. So it's a, it's a total, it's a paradigm shift. Absolutely. And I mean, trust me, you gotta be bold. A lot of these other CEOs can't be this bold because they're not vertically integrated. So they're highly dependent on these other, these other manufacturers. Mm -hmm. They can't build something because most of the parts that they're building comes from the people that they're trying to compete with. Nordivani is vertically integrated. There's not any one of these companies here that I rely on. Mm -hmm. I they we, relied on you in the past. One hundred percent. So, <laughs> as the as the technology pace car for the past thirteen years, pace car meaning I'm that first car on the track that drives that lap to show the world what technology is going to be. Right on that second lap, I pick up all of the other people that's about to jump in that race. And then on that third lap, I go into the infield and I let them play for the next 12 years, right? Not anymore. That's changing now. That's Not what this anymore. is about, this CES. We're a pace car and we're in pole position and I expect to finish at the checker flag. Well, how about that? We're gonna wrap it up one last thing in a nutshell. Where do you see the company in the next, let's say two, three, four years? Well, today, Nordivani is, uh, Nordivani as a manufacturer, we're already leading, you know, uh, Nordivani Seacom was the number one ODM in China. Um, as a designer, I, was, I already achieved the claims of top designer worldwide. So it's not about awards anymore. Right now it's about displacement and a genome effect that we, that we wanna cause. I have to hit critical mass because in order, to, in order to balance the equation between this Android manifest, iPhone manifest, the the Elon Musk effect on America and other places, I have to actually impact the world in a way that allows more people to understand the value of their data, the value of security, and see these people and companies for what they are and who they are. For me to do that, I have to be exposed. Absolutely. I can no longer be behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So my goal for the next two years is to actually fulfill this mass adoption claim 
Uh, and mass adoption to me is about 15% of the US market, 70% okay. of the African market, 13% okay. of the Asian market, and 30% of the Indian market. I do that, I balance the playing field. That's a pretty big number, right? But we're a pretty big company. Yeah. 32 companies, we're in every market sector of the world, and we're ready. We took 15 years to get to this point. We took five years to develop Silo. For some of you startups and new entrepreneurs, right? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little, mm, let's just call it advice, right? Because I know a lot of you have ideas and if you had to use the same format that others have used in the past five years, that format would look like, I have an idea, I have to raise money so that I can build a prototype. And then once you raise that money, you build that prototype and then you meet someone that says you need $20 million to get to the first door. Hmm. Hey guys, no successful long-standing company that was generational built their company that way. Don't get me wrong, instant gratification is what they promote, but that's that's only the way they wave it in front of you, right? This is this is not a dog race. It took 15 years to build the infrastructure that allows me to be immovable, right? So my my idea is to build you enablement tools that if you had that idea, don't go and raise funds first. I'll assist you with building your prototype. You hear that? Yeah. And then, then we'll fund part of getting your early uh, products into the market so that you can start successfully gaining your own income, right? And now, now you're at a point where you're in no debt. You haven't given away any of your intellectual property. No one owns you. And if you have a good heart, that value could actually be the thing that you sell to the rest of the market. And that's where that's why I'm able to speak the way that I speak. I don't I'm not I'm not puppeted at all because I haven't accepted industry money. Mm -hmm. This company has been grown by the work that we've done for other companies. Mm -hmm. So that revenue model has been my investment model. Right. That's, that's incredible, too. That's an incredible feat. Well, it's the way the old companies were built. Mm -hmm. It's the way the old companies were built. You know, you ever heard the term opportunity knocks? Yeah. All right. So opportunity knocks. Who's knocking? Opportunity. <laughs> well, you're really the one that's knocking, right? You're the one who's doing it, yeah. And you're the opportunity. And a lot of people don't realize that they're the opportunity, right? So you walk into these doors and you're like, hey, I want, a, I want a chance to get in and you're knocking on these doors. And these guys are saying, hey, we don't want you in. We don't want you in this tech industry. We don't want you in this medical industry. We don't want you to be your own record label or your own distribution chain. That's you knocking at them, asking them for, for right. permission. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, hey, when you see that door and it's closed and they tell you don't go in, board it up. And then turn around and walk and realize that the opportunity is you and the rest of the world. And at that same time, you've already locked up, you boarded up that door, so you locked up all of what could have been your obstacle. And wait for about five minutes, and you'll start hearing that door knock because they're trying to get out of that little box that you've been trying to get into. All right. That's the way we're flipping the script. And Silo is one of the main tools. It's Silo, Silo Cloud is one of the main tools that it allows you to build that on your own. Absolutely. It, it does everything. We're going to have some demos and we're going to show yeah. you guys how he does. You can build websites and host a server at all in less than five minutes. Really, so, really simple, guys. Yeah. Really, really simple. It, it's impressive. For uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank I appreciate you coming on Poppin' Crypto. We'll wrap it up, let you get back Pop to CS. Poppin' Crypto, man. Hey, listen, this is Poppin' Crypto. Silo is not just for influencers, guys. All of you crypto enthusiasts, Silo is on its own blockchain. It has its own token system. It, ha it, it has its own bridge. So fiat to crypto. There's a payment system exchange as Man, well. come on. Yeah. Check it out for yourself. I, I know he's going to tell you. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> nah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Brother. Thank you, man. You missed a good one if you wasn't there. Taking over the game, man.
NFTs, all that. That's how we get it, man. Artists taking it back for ourselves.